everyone, I'm Bonnie Krebs and I'm here to introduce you to our new Shadow Box series. Now this is a set of dies that works with our Windows to the World. Now those of you who uh, are familiar with those, we've had this line for quite a while. Uh, they're super, super fun. They're a little square with a sentiment around it. We have lots and lots of them in this line. And this little Shadow Box works great with all of those Windows to the Worlds. Uh, we also have four new ones. So there are four new ones in the set that come with a little extra element. So here's basically what it does. So if you can see this up close, uh, this is the shadow box and you can see that it creates a three dimensional effect like this. I'm gonna show you how to put this together. Super, super fun. And keep in mind, you can use these with any of your windows to the world. So here is the new release, and we are calling this the Shadow Box series because of this set of dies right here. Now this is what creates that shadow box, and you can see in here, you get all of these dies. This is the actual mechanism that creates the shadow box. We've got here the decorative window that goes on to the front and the windowsill here. You also get a little extra one. This is a little hello special die that comes on the inside. So I'm gonna show you how this goes together. But here are the four sets that come with it. Now this would look familiar to you if you have bought any of our windows to the world. You know that they come in a little two inch square like this with the sentiment that's hand scripted around it. Now there are four of these. The only difference with these is that they come with an extra little element. Now this one comes with a little deer that will pop up in the front and you can see this on the, um, on the illustration. So this one is called um, the deer window set. This one is a little boathouse. It's got the little rowboat here that comes into the front and it's got a little sentiment on here. It says, may every flowing stream lead you ahead to a bright and beautiful adventure. Love, love, love that. So um, that one is really cool. Here's another one. Uh, your friendship, like a bridge, spans the distance between us. Love that. And here's the extra little stamp that goes with it, this little bridge right here. And it's a little schoolhouse with a little creek. Really super easy to color. Uh, this one is called the mailbox window set. Comes with this little mailbox with a little floral on it. Uh, it's got a little house tucked into the background with some tulips. The, this one says, home is where the heart is. May yours be filled with warmth and love. Super, super fun and really fun to send to someone. And to be able to give that three-dimensional effect is just so cool. So let me show you some samples of that, that, um, that technique. So here you can see the decorative window onto the front. And let me just kind of turn it so that you can see the three-dimensional effect. And when you open the card, here is here is the little shadow box on the inside. And the neat thing about these is that they fold flat when you close the card. So they fold over like this. And then when you open the card, this pops up and creates this three-dimensional little window box. And this little extra piece in here adds some more dimension. Okay, that's the little deer one. Here's the one with the little mailbox, so cute. Here's the decorative window with the windowsill and you can see the little house back in there with the mailbox up front. Uh, here is the little schoolhouse with the bridge. So cute, and you can see how that just folds flat when you close the card. Close the card up, it folds flat, and then it pops open. So these are the same size as our previous Windows to the World, so you will be able to use any of those with this little shadow box. Now this one is a little different. Our design team member made this a little different. She cut the window out and just popped it up with dots, so there are lots of different ways that you can use these. Uh, one more, let me show you this one. Isn't this cute with a little deer? Here's that little hello down below. She's got the fall leaves on here, and you can see this one also folds flat. So when you open it, Here's your little um, shadow box. And uh, when you close it, close it flat. So let me show you how this works. It is so, so easy. First thing I did was cut an A2 card like this one and cut out the center. Now let me show you those dies and how they work. So here are the dies that come in the set. This decorative window, this one here that cuts out the opening, the actual shadow box mechanism, the little hello, this one here, and the windowsill. Now all of the uh, sets, the decorative sets, so let me show you that again, let me show you one of these. They come with the stamps, the extra little stamp, and the die that cuts out this little extra element. So that's included to cut out the extra element. That is not included in here. Now you do need to have 
um, the shadow box and the stamp in order to create this effect. So this one would be just like any of our windows to the world. It's got the sentiment around it. It's got the little um, illustration on the inside. So it looks just like every other windows to the world, except that it's got an extra little element and a die in it. So the first thing I did was I cut out my card, my A2 card, and I cut out the opening with this little die that's part of the shadow box set. So that cuts out the opening. And then the other thing I did was I cut out the shadow box and you can see, I'll hold this up close, you can see the score lines here. There are two on each side. And then this is the decorative window. This goes over the top of the opening, just like this. Uh, I cut out, I stamped and cut out my little image. Now this die will cut out the image only and it will take the sentiment off. So when you see that, uh, let me show you that just one more time on here. This is the little deer set. So the sentiment, this is all one stamp. This is all one image, but when you cut it out, it cuts out, it cuts off the sentiment so that you can use it into the shadow box. So that's what I did. I cut out, I cut this out, cut the sentiment off. And then I also stamped my little deer, cut this guy out. This is the little extra element that comes in that set and popped him up with two little foam dots. And then I cut out the little uh, windowsill, popped it up with two little foam dots, and we are ready to assemble this card. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, attach the little decorative, uh, I, the little decorative image to the window box, and it's going to go right into the center. So the way that this works is we're going to first first fold along these score lines. So these two fold down and these two fold up. So just like this, super easy to see where those score lines are and to put this together. There's just nothing to this, you guys, so easy. Now on the inside is where the image is gonna go, okay? So I'm just going to um, add some adhesive to this. I'll just use my little glue stick here. I'll add some adhesive and just glue that uh, to the inside. And you want to just center it right into the middle. Just right in the middle. And it's going to be a little bit smaller than the shadow box mechanism. Okay, so that's going to go in here just like this. And then we're going to put our little deer. Now I've already pulled the backs off of this. He's going to go kind of right in the center. Just his little nose is probably right in the center down at the bottom. So you can see how that pops up like this. Okay, this is how it should look, just like this. Now we're gonna add some adhesive to the edge of this little, um, this little shadow box. And we're gonna turn the card because it's a little easier to put it on like this. So I've got it like this. I'm going to add some um, adhesive. I'm just gonna use my little glue stick to the sides, both of these sides. I'm gonna fold this one over and glue it right next to the opening and just leave a little bit of an edge. So I'm gonna hold this up so you can see how far back you want, want to put that. And you can see it's right side up. Now I'm going to pull this straight and tuck this under and glue it down. So it should look just like that. Fold it over and make it flat. And then you can pop it up. And now when you turn it over, you can see the little deer on the inside. And that's how they will all work. So when you, uh, if you're using any of the other sets, for example, here's some of our Windows to the World, here's some of, of them from previous releases, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna cut the sentiment off and you're going to adhere it to the center of the shadow box and it's gonna work just like this. And then when you close your card, it's going to be flat. And then it will pop up like this. Now we can add our little decorative um, window to it. So let's just fold this flat right now so we can get this on. I'm just gonna add a little uh, glue to it. Just like this, just super, super easy. And the neat thing about these two is that they're really, really easy to color. They don't take much, much to color, whether you're using your Copics or your watercolor, uh, they color super, super fast. Okay, so now, the little uh, windowsill, and I've already got my foam dots on here, so I'll just peel these little backs off. 
the windowsill goes right on to the bottom of the window, just like that. And you've got your cute, cute little window. We can add our little hello onto here. Also, and I just did all of this in the black and white so that it's easier for you to see how this all goes together. It's a little confusing when everything is bright colored and I feel like the black and white it, uh, just makes it a little easier for you to see. So there's our little um, three-dimensional image. So cute and inside you can see the shadow box like this. And try this with some of your other windows to the world. It's going to work great, you guys. It's so fun. So let me show you one more time these card samples. I just think they are so cute. Here, here they are colored and they're so much cuter colored. This one is the little deer set. Here's the little window box or the little shadow box. This one is the deer set. 5411. This one is another one that is uh, that same using that same set. I think the black is just so cute with the little green hello. So, so cute. Here's this one with the little schoolhouse. So cute. And this one with a little cottage. Love it. Our design team, they are just fabulous. Just fabulous. Now, this one is using our traditional window. This is our Windows to the World window, and you can see that it will also work with the shadow box. So here it is on the back, here's the little mechanism. And instead of that decorative window, this one, uh, our design team member used our other window. So this is our the window that goes with the windows to the world. So it also will work on here and just be so, so cute. Here's our little frame. And this is just a different way that she's popped this up, but there are lots and lots of ways that you can use these. And here they are again. So here is that window die set. This is the shadow box die. And it comes with all these pieces. Here's the, here's the mechanism, the little die that cuts out the center. Uh, obviously the decorative front, you get all of these in here. And then the four sets. And here they are. The mailbox, the deer, the bridge, and the boat. So I hope you guys will give this a try. It is super fun. And those of you who have our windows to the world, give it a try with one that you have. Thanks so much for watching. Happy stamping.